Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here and welcome to Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I do this every week with my girl, Kat. She lives down in Florida. We've been doing this for several years now. So if you want to see what we're getting into today, cause we just kind of sit down, chit chat, uh, and do a little get ready with me while we talk about anything that's going on in our lives or whatever comes to mind. So stick around cause I'll be right back. I got some fun new goodies. Alrighty guys, thanks for wanting to stick around and hang out with me for a little bit. Uh, like I said, I do this every week with my girl Kat. We just kind of sit down and get ready for our day and chit chat about stuff. Um, let me let you know what I did for my base. I did use my Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer uh, after I did my skincare, of course. I did use a little bit of this Fit Me Matte Finish Prep and Prime Spray that I got from Timu. I did use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy Luminex, or, or I guess that's that's just Dewy in another language, duh. But I used this Wet n Wild, and this is in the shade. It's neutral, and I got this. This is one of the foundations that I got from Trouble with Tish. Thank you so much, Tish. I really like it. Uh, what else did I do? I used my LYS bronzer that I got in Busy Beauty Customs. I used a little bit of my Beauty Creations setting powder. I used my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Um, for To prep my lids, I used my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas because I love it. Did I do anything else? Not yet, because Tish gave me some other goodies. She gave me this e.l.f. Brow Lift. I wanted to try this and see how it is. She gave me this Ultra Matte Gel Liner from Melt Cosmetics. She gave me this Powder Blush Light from Melt. This is in the shade, I don't know, I don't have my glasses on and I can't read, so I got the blush, we'll try it out. And then she gave me this Hank and Henry Luster Dew Highlighter. So we'll give that a whirl too. But the piece de la resistance, guys, is she's letting me do a review on this new palette that she bought. And I'm super stoked, guys, super stoked because let me keep this box here so I can box it back up when I'm done. I got the new, well, I didn't get it. Tish got it and she's letting me use it. It's the Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette. So I'm super excited to, uh, yeah, use this. So should I do my brows first? Let's do my brows first. Let's try this uh, brow lift gel from e.l.f. and see how it goes. I did buy some like disposable like lip things and stuff for when I took my class, my makeup course. And so uh, I just pulled out the little spoolies, the disposable spoolies so I can try it out. I think you're just supposed to like <clears throat> kind of rub it in there a little bit. Oops, I think I might've got too much. Oh, I hope this works out right. All right, let me get my mirror. And then I think you just kind of brush it through to uh, s stick your brows in place, right? And then you can color them in after it dries down. So we'll put this in and then we will do my eyeshadow and then we'll color in my brows. That should give it plenty enough time to dry down. I wish my brows were just, I don't know, just a little bit not, I don't know. I don't know. I just wish they were maybe a little bit more fuller like the perfect brow. But is there a such thing really? I don't know, some people do have really nice brows. I unfortunately don't think I have the best. I don't think they're the worst, but they're not, you know, the best. Alrighty guys, not too bad. Yeah, they're definitely like, I think this one looks a little more flared out, I guess, or floofy than the other one, but Oh well, we'll see how it turns out in the end. All right, so we got that. Now let's get into the palette while that gel, brow gel, dries down. This is what she looks like. Ew, oh my goodness, she's so pretty. And then we'll open it up inside so that you can see what it looks like. Let me hold it like, like this. There you go, I don't wanna drop it. I saw Allie 
Allie Dawson did a review on this and she dropped it and a couple of the pans popped out. But is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous, you guys. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with Fair, which is this right here, and I'm just gonna pop it all over my lid to kind of set down the primer that I got. I finally, you guys, finally, I have been trying for like a month and a half to get the lean release letter for my vehicle so I can mail all this stuff in to my insurance company so I can get my payout on my car. I just called them again yesterday <laughs> to find out like, cause they said they had sent it out on the 7th and today, what is today, the 20, Sunday was the 20th, today's the 24th. So I still hadn't got it yet. So I called them and they're supposed to send me another one. And wouldn't you know it, the mail comes today and I've got it. So right now I'm just getting ready to go do that. And then I need to get my glasses fixed that I stepped on and broke. Um, they're not really broke, they're just kind of bent. So I need to see if I need to get it replaced or if they can fix it. And then I also, uh, after that, I have my MRI today. So what color shall we use next? I think we'll use this shade right here in the crease just to kind of darken it up a little bit. And what brush should I use? How about we use the Singe Beauty, this is the EO2, and we'll use that to put mesh right in here. Mm, that's nice. And then I think maybe I'll go in with either Tender I think maybe I'll use tender to deepen up out here. And then I think Tish wanted me to use, was it the filigree color? I think it might've been that one that she wanted me to put on as a shimmer shade. So we'll give that, I hope that's the one she pointed out. Or maybe it was Delilah. I think it might've been Delilah. Maybe we can use both of them because one's a little bit darker than the other one. So we could probably use both of them. How's that looking? I think that's looking really pretty. It's a nice shade. Not too much. I kind of like, like I like colors sometimes, but I do, I don't know what it is about a natural nude look. I just think they look really sophisticated and you know, every day and, and beautiful. You know what I mean? Like I do like to step out of my comfort zone a little bit but like on my normal every day, I use neutral shades and I don't care whether it's cool toned or not. Like I'm, I'm just a really, I'm a nude girly a lot of the time. Sometimes I do like the color and there are certain colors that I like on me, but then, you know, sometimes I look back at pictures of eyeshadow looks that I've done that were color and I was like, mm, I think I could have, you know, done it a little bit differently because it looks like a, a, like a lot, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes I think it's nice to just do neutral everyday looks. And you can always, you know, vamp them up a little bit. Like with this silhouette shade is like a really dark color. So like, if you wanna like amp it up for a nighttime look, you can, you can definitely do that, you know what I mean? I think it has a little bit of versatility. I think I heard people saying this was supposed to be like a like a wedding palette maybe, you know, which I could uh, absolutely see somebody wanting to have this in their, you know, um, what do you call it? Like their makeup stash for when they do other people's makeup because a lot of people like more neutral natural looks than they do you know, really loud, colorful ones. I don't think I really did. I think I did a more natural look on my wedding day. It was pretty, pretty neutral. But back then I really wasn't into makeup like I am now. All right, I'm gonna use this Glam Light brush and just kind of blend out the edge here a little bit. We just got back a couple days ago from visiting my dad for his birthday and we had such a great trip. I do have like several vlog videos 
that I'm editing and uploading. I also have to film my Busy Beauty Customs PR and get that edited and uploaded and we'll, I'm just trying to catch up on a lot because I was gone for like a week. All right, so for the outer, let's try this tender shade right here. Dun, 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 dun. And we'll kind of deepen up the outside. Maybe I'll change, save that silhouette as like a, a liner for my lash line. We'll see how this tender goes. Just tap it down on the outer V here. All right, there we go. We just got that kind of tapped on there and I tried to kind of, I don't know, make a, a little wing and then try to blend this just a little bit. How's it looking guys? Let me get the other eye done and then we'll come back when that's done. Alrighty guys, we got that laid down. Hopefully it's looking kind of even. I used my Singe Beauty E01 brush. I love this brush set so much. It's like top notch guys, top notch. I love it so much. All right, so let's go into, I think it's filigree. I'm pretty sure it's filigree right there. And I'm gonna put that right next to this. I think this one looks darker than the other one. So let me kind of blend this out a little bit. All right, so filigree it is. These are a little loose, like they move around, but they're magnetic, so I don't think that's like like a big deal. I'm gonna use my E04 Singe Beauty brush, and we're just gonna lay that shade down like right in the middle there and kind of blend it in with the outer V shade. And then we'll take that Delilah color shade put it in the inner corner. Can I speak today? Maybe, maybe not. I'm a little, I'm like super, I'm really nervous about this MRI, you guys. I don't wanna be put in that tube. Like I'm, I like got major anxiety about it, you guys. Like I honestly, like I talked about this, I think before in another video, I was supposed to have already had it done, but they like canceled my appointment two hours before I was supposed to go. So that kind of sucked. And then it's like, you know, you're ready to get it done and over with. And then it's like postponed and then you got to freaking wait and the anticipation. And then I can't like eat or drink because it's at four o'clock. I think check-ins at 3.30 and I can't have anything to eat or drink like four hours prior because I think they do like part of it without the um like the dye stuff that they put in your system or something I think they're gonna do one with it and one without it to if you don't know it's to check my kidney because when I got my car accident and they took me to the ER they did a CT scan and there was like a renal lesion or cyst on my left kidney so they suggested I get an MRI just to check and make sure that it's not like, I don't know, I'm assuming like maybe cancer or something. But I did go into my regular doctor and they tested my kidney function because she wanted to do that as well as the MRI. That, all the tests she did that day came back fine. It only took them like freaking two weeks. I had called them to check and see what my test results were and the nurse was like, the test results are sitting on Julie's desk. She'll, she'll call you if there's anything, you know, serious. Otherwise, your test results will be p posted in the, like, patient portal. And I was like, well, that's great. There could be something wrong. But how would I know when the test results are sitting on her desk and she hasn't looked at them yet? Like, it's just frustrating. You know what I mean? Like, to think that something could be wrong with you and they're just leaving your results sitting there. I mean, I don't know. She could have looked at them and not seen anything serious. And so she just left them sitting there until she could get back to them. You know what I mean? Because usually, usually she's pretty good about it because my doctor knows how I am and how like freaked out I get. You know what I mean? That is a really stunning color, guys. All right, let me get my color switcher 
clean off this brush. I really need to clean my brushes. It's been a while. It's been a hot, hot minute since I cleaned my brushes. All right, so we got that cleaned off. So now we're gonna go into the Delilah shade right there. I could have just used that for the inner corner. I still can. I could just tap it in here and then like bring it around into the inner corner there for an inner corner highlight. Maybe I'll use the highlighter for that though. Just kind of tap in this and then kind of blend it. How's that look? Mm, that looks nice. I think that's really pretty. I took my son, cause like right before we went on vacation, he was talking about like wanting to take his permit test and get his license and get a car and get a job. So he started studying the book. He even took the driver ed book with us over to visit my dad. And I had sent him a link because they have like these online practice tests that you can do. So I sent him that so that he could practice and he was doing really well. Well, I took him yesterday to go take the permit test. And I thought, I thought he was gonna pass. I really did because he was doing so good with the practice tests. All right, I'm gonna use this Michaela Glam Light like angled brush to use the silhouette shade right there and put that on my upper lash line. I think he went too fast. Like he didn't take it super fast, but I feel like for the amount of questions that he kind of did, and I kind of gave him some hints, like if the question, if one of the answers is all of the above, it it's always all of the above because that's what somebody told me when I took the test and there's a lot of other people that know the same rule of thumb. Anytime something says all of the above on the written test, it's all of the above, you know? And he was, he, he was like, I wonder what I got wrong. And I said, well, you could have just gotten one. He's like, I wish I knew, but then he's all, I kind of, I'm glad I don't because if it was only one that he didn't pass by, he would be super like, frustrated because you know what I mean like one I think you can only get I think it's seven that you can get wrong so can you imagine like you take the test and they tell you oh you got eight wrong you know what I mean like that would be super frustrating so he's kind of glad he doesn't know but he kind of wishes he he would know they said you only have to wait 24 hours but I think you have to make an appointment like you can just walk in when you take the first initial one, I believe, but I think like if you retake it, like when you retake it, you have to make an appointment and they don't have another appointment until like the end of September. So I went ahead and took that point, appointment, but I could potentially, I'm going into that tender color and I'm just gonna put it under the lower lash line here. I, I could potentially take him in, you know, next week to try again but I wanted to get that appointment just in case you know maybe I will just take him in next week and let him try again I told him I said you know just take the next week to go over the practice tests and read through the book again you know maybe they just gave him the one test that he had issues with on the practice one I don't know but I felt bad I felt so bad because he like walked out and you could just see it all over his face, the disappointment that he didn't pass. I was hoping he would pass, you know, I really was because he was like, he was really doing it. He was like taking practice tests after practice tests after practice tests. And he's like, I only got this many wrong. And I mean, like he's, he was really like diving into it, you know, putting everything into it. And so for him to do all of that and not to pass, it was like, broke my heart really. I just used this little, I think I got this out of, I don't know, a palette that I had gotten to lay down that shade underneath here. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's get into this blush right here that Tish gave me. Thank you so much, Tish, for all my goodies and for letting me use this palette. This says, Nevermore Powder Blush. 
powder blush light. So, ooh, look at that, you guys. Pretty. All right, let me find my blusher brush, which would be over here. Dun, dun, dun. See, it's dirty. It needs to be washed. All right, let's pick up a little bit of this, and we're just going to tap it. Tap, tap, tappy. I have glitter from when I did my my game day long and it's still like I need to wash my brushes point blank period I just need to wash my brushes all right that's really pretty what do you guys think I like it I put a little here a little on my nose and a little on my forehead here I'm just kind of tapping it in I think it's I think it looks really pretty guys I think it looks really pretty all right next what are we doing here? Did I show you guys the mascara that she gave me too? The Melt Supernatural Lash. So she gave me that too, but I am still got this one that I'm using. So we'll try this one another time. I do need to curl my lashes. So let me do that real quick. All right, let's get into this highlighter. I think this might be, oh, oh I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's gonna work. Look at that. Is that like, that's, I don't know, Luster Dew Highlighter. Whoa, you guys. Maybe I'll put a little bit on my cheeks. Where's my, I'll use this brush right here. Let me dip in a little bit and see how this turns out. I was going to use it on my brow bone, but I think, I think not for this shade. We'll just put a little bit on the cheeks here. Can you see that? Because I think it's like a, it, it really goes with this blush though, I think, for sure. Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Maybe put a little bit on the nose right there. Get a little bit Cupid's bow. Okay, so let me clean that off. It's pretty. It's pretty for sure. All right, I'm gonna clean this off and then we'll go in with, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. We'll use this brush right here and we'll go into this Ocalan. This is 3D Glow Highlighter. I got this in ice cream beauty and we'll just tap that on the inner corner here okay we got that so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of this and we're just gonna do the brow bone and then whoops almost knocked everything over and then we'll get into the brows because i don't know what i'm using for my brows yet i just like using the highlighter to kind of blend that harsh harsh edge out. <laughs> Alrighty, we got that. I did use my little baby KVD cake pencil to do the tight line. So let me, I'm just knocking everything over. I really need to clean my area, guys. I really, really need to clean my area. All right, I'm getting into my, oh, my milk. It's not melt, it's milk. Good Lord. <sighs> See, can you tell? I'm really like flustered today. I really am about this MRI. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I mean, I'm not scared, scared. You know what I'm saying? I'm just nervous because I mean, if you've had one, you know, you get put in that little tube and some people probably don't think it's a big deal, but if you're a little bit claustrophobic and like, I've only had one other one when I was pregnant and I kind of freaked out I kept telling myself when they like put me in there to keep my eyes closed and my dumbiness opened my eyes and then I, I like kind of panicked, you know, cause it's like right there. So it's almost like you're in a, like a coffin a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, we got the mascara on. I think I'm gonna use my Avon Emerald liner pencil to do the waterline cause I do like to have a pop of color. All right, we got that in the waterline. What are we doing next? Brows. So, how about I try, 
I'm just gonna try this, the Creme Flex Brow that I always use and just run it through this and see, see what happens. I think I need a little bit darker because I think this is maybe a little too light. But when I went on the site, when I placed my last Avon order, I couldn't find this particular one. That's the only thing that frustrates me about Avon. It's like you you find something that you like, you really like and enjoy, and then you go back to get it, and they don't freaking have it anymore. You know, it's like it, it's really frustrating. It's like they change things out so much. There's like some that is like they're consistent that they keep all the time and then there's other things that like they're switching out like there was this perfume like Bon Jovi perfume oh my god you guys it smelled so good and they just continued it I'm like what why do you do that you you get something and you get people to fall in love with it and then you just continue it so it's like this body spray they had I used to wear it to work every day because people and people would like comment on it and say how good it smelled and then I even had some of the people at work that ordered like multiples of them all the time and then they freaking discontinued it and it's like you you want people to sell your product and then you you have products that you find that people love and want to buy all the time and then you discontinue it so they can't buy it anymore so it's like how are you how are you gonna like how can you help people to like sell your stuff if you get rid of the stuff that you're selling that people love you know what I mean like that hurts me I can't sell your product if you're going to get rid of the product that my people want to buy you know what I mean it's like freaking frustrating all right lips because I think that's I think that's everything so what do I do for the lips we're going to use this Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Share. I had the one from the set from Ice Cream Beauty, but you guys, that liner, like, it's not, not good. Not for me anyway. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the box that I got because it came with this like lip gloss and this lipstick and then it came with the liner and the liner just completely like like broke off you know what I mean and like I tried to sharpen it and it, it broke off again so I just put it in my empties so when I do my empties you guys will see that all right and then I'm just gonna top it off with the omen gloss from unearthly the Heather Austin collection I love this stuff so much. Alrighty guys, that would be the look for today. By the time this goes up, obviously my MRI will be done and over with. So I'd say wish me luck, but I'm already done with it. But I will like put something in here when I do editing later to let you guys know how it went. But um, thank you again, Tish for all my goodies we got this I kind of like the 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 brow lift I think I'm gonna use this more often and kind of try like other brow products that I have with it and see how that works because I do think that I need kind of a darker color of this but like I said it's not available anymore I like the melt blush I think it's super pretty um what else did I use the palette of course stunner Stunner. What do you guys think? Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is a great palette. Thank you again, Tish, for letting me use it for a review. She's a beauty for sure. I love it. I love it so much. All right, guys. Well, that's my video for today. I'm going to pack all of this. Well, pack up the palette so I can take it back to Tish and uh, I'm nervous guys but I hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you have this palette what you think about it uh, are you thinking about buying it possibly I got a couple palettes that were on sale so I can't purchase this one because I spent my money on 
these other ones and I can't wait to get them and share them with you guys because I'm super excited. But anyways, that's my video for today. I got to get on the road and get out of here so I can get all of this stuff done. Uh, I appreciate you all hanging out with me for a little bit. Make sure you guys go show Kat some love. Kat, thank you for another week. I love you so much. Can't wait to see your video. I hope all is going well and that you're not having any more of those door situations because damn, that's scary. But if you're new to the channel, I hope that you will join the family, join Nene's Glam Squad. We would love to have you here, a part of the family here. And uh, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. It's completely and totally free. Make sure you turn up the notification bell because we do all sorts of different things on this channel. You, you get the notification, you get uh, a picture of the thumbnail. If it looks like something that you're interested in coming over, then come on over. If you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. It does help out my channel, lets YouTube know you enjoy seeing my content so other people can find us and leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by and let me know what do you think of the look? What do you think of the makeup? What do you think of the palette? Are you a Natasha Denona girly or a guy? Let me know, I'm curious, I wanna know. All right. I love you all so very much and I hope I'll see you all in my next video.